Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Coach Cheryl. I am so, so excited about what we're gonna be talking about today, which is dating during COVID-19. <laughs> dating during COVID-19. So just stay where you are and we'll be right back. <laughs> So hey, if this is your first time coming to this channel, I want to extend you a warm, hearty welcome. So if you're new, I want you to do what we always do. I want you to watch this video all the way through. I know you're going to absolutely love it. Then I want you to like it if you truly like it and then subscribe to see what we're doing here. My name is Cheryl Thomas. I'm a minister, best-selling author, and a certified Christian life coach. And here on Cheryl Thomas Speaks, we talk about faith. We talk about family. We talk about finances. We talk about fashion and fun. This channel is just for the woman of faith so that she can learn how to get a life, so she can learn how to love herself, invest in herself, feel confident in her skin, and be empowered to express the unique individual God has called her to be. So, dating during COVID. Now, I couldn't have this conversation by myself, so I invited some wonderful friends so I won't be by myself during these segments and it's going to be a series of segments. So remember to hit that notification bell. Do not forget that because you're going to want to be a part of this series. I invited my cousin, Pastor Jonathan McKnight. He pastors in Orlando, Florida at the Sanctuary of Praise and my sister, Minister Valerie Thomas, to be in on this conversation about Christian singles dating during COVID. So on this first segment, we're going to talk about what does that look like? How do you date during COVID? And we're also going to talk about online dating sites. <laughs> Is this something that Christians should do? You don't want to miss this episode. So stay locked. Here we go. Hey, everybody. It is time for Church Girl Chats. Now, I know y'all are looking and y'all are saying, oh, she got guesses on this evening. I am so excited. With me on tonight, we have Pastor Jonathan McKnight, and we also have Minister Valerie Thomas. For some of you, this is the first time that you are watching Church Girl Chat, so I want to let you know, what is Church Girl Chat, and who is this chick talking to us? My name is Minister Cheryl Thomas. I'm a minister, best-selling author, and certified Christian life coach, and we do Church Girl Chats once a month. Church Girl Chats is just a forum for us to get together to empower women to live a life. That means to love yourself, to invest in yourself, to feel confident in your own skin and to empower you to express the unique individual that God has called you to be. On tonight, we're going to be talking about dating during COVID. Y'all hear that? Dating during COVID. Because I know some of um, my single sister girlfriends, you know, you were, you know, at the what, watch night 2019, you were saying, this is my year. Boaz is going to be here this year. I am looking for God to do it. And then God shut the whole world down, didn't he? <laughs> he shut everything down. And so some of us was looking a little side at God, like, uh, Jesus, how us going to meet him? Or for the men, you might have been saying, how am I going to meet her during this pandemic? We can't go out. We can't talk to people. We sure can't hug and we can't shake hands. We have to wave across six feet. And so I wanted to actually talk about that on tonight. I wanted to address it. And I wanted to bring some seasoned people with us on tonight as we address dating dur during COVID. What does that look like? Is it possible to date during COVID? And if you do it, can you do it safely? So what does that look like? I'm going to give a brief introduction. I could go on and on and on about the guests that we have with us on tonight. But Pastor McKnight is my cousin. Most of you all know him. He pastors a wonderful church in Orlando, Florida, Sanctuary of Praise Ministries. Many of you don't know that I traveled in ministry with Pastor McKnight for four or five years before he started pastoring in his evangelistic ministry. I'm just so thankful and so grateful to have him. You've probably seen him on TV and everywhere. The Lord is really, really blessing him and his ministry. And then to the right of him is Minister Valerie Thomas. And you all know that's my sister. God has really anointed her with wisdom about relationship, about how to navigate relationships. And so I wanted to have her on 
I'm here on tonight as well, talking about how do you navigate relationships or dating during a lockdown? How many single people do we have online with us on the night? I want you to put, if you're single, I want you to put the letter S in here. And if you're married, I want you to put M in the comments so that we'll know who you are. S if you are single and M if you are married. Singles, I see some marrieds on here. Oh, so we're going to get good wisdom on tonight. Good wisdom on tonight. Now, you may have some people that may not necessarily be married but or single. They may be involved in a relationship. So That's true. Uh, how was That's true. So if you are in a committed... Put an I. Put an I. <laughs> put I if you are involved. <laughs> no, in between. In between. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Involved or in between relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know so we'll know who we're talking to. Okay, so let's jump in. Thank you all for letting me know. I see we it's almost even. I don't see any eyes yet. But uh <laughs> Penny Penny says she's still single. <laughs> oh Penny, I see a W. I don't know what du that means wife, maybe. Wife? Waiting. A oh, waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to be a wife. Okay, so let's jump in to the questions. I'm going to pose a question, and Pastor Jonathan, I want you to answer the question, and then we'll um, let Lady Valerie, Minister Valerie, answer it as well. So our first question is, what will dating look like for the Christian during this season, during COVID-19? What will that look like? I think, actually, the, what, what it would look like would actually be uh, pre preparation with discipline. I think preparation with discipline is what it's going to have to look like. Right. Because if there's anxiousness in this season, to me, that will be a person that I will, will have a red flag if they're not thinking about the safety of the season by which we're in. Right. So actually, I think that for COVID-19, I think it's a time to watch people's preparation. I mm -hmm. think to see what they're doing with time. Wow. Because wow. a lot of people can say, I'm busy. Mm -hmm. I'm busy going to work. I'm busy going to church. I'm busy going to. But right now is actually a season of preparation of how you value your time mm -hmm. and progress. Right. And if they can't show growth in this season, then I think it's a behavior that's always been there. I love that. I love that answer. I love the answer. And y'all, when y'all hear an answer that you like, I want y'all to give some hearts and, and you know, some, some likes some thumbs up so that we can actually see that. So I love that preparation during this season, preparation during this season. And um, Mr. Valerie, if you want to answer that. I agree with Pastor McKnight 100%. Because of the state or the position that we're in, God put a stop to everything. He's, everything has been put on hold. And I believe that includes relationships. And I don't know about anybody else, but I particularly have made a conscious decision that now is the time for me to make up lost ground. Now is the time for me to put some seeds out there. And I'm working fervently. I think we lost Pastor McKnight. And, and I'm um, working fervently trying to um, build myself, build my spirit, build my business. Um, those are the things that I'm working on during this time. Um, is dating out of the question during this time? Absolutely not. Especially if you were already at that stage where you were talking to someone, it just changes how you talk to that particular individual. If you were not dating someone, then yes, this is the time for you to actually look at yourself, grow yourself, um, work on your, your business, work on your spiritual walk, your spiritual life with God. Um, so that's, that's kind of the season I feel that we're in at this moment. Yeah, yeah, and I I love that answer. I love that response about being prepared and working on yourself and making sure that you're ready. And I even love, I'm trying to get Pastor McKnight back again. I loved his response about even as you are preparing yourself, this is a good time to be watching what other 
people are doing. Like if, if you were dating somebody, if you were interested in somebody, watching what that person is doing during this season. How are they using this season? Are they um, busy um, working on themselves? Are they busy trying to make sure that business-wise, spiritual-wise, mentally, are they working on them? Uh, and are they still paying attention to you if you were like dating before? There is no reason. They have all the time in the world to call you. <laughs> so I'm uh, right. making sure of that. And it's something that I, I felt as soon as we entered this particular season, that now is the time for us to redeem the time. Yes. And I don't know if anybody has felt it as urgently as I have. And um, I know we're talking about dating, but we're also talking about building ourselves first. One thing that single people do is they make the mistake of requiring more of the person that they want to be involved with than they require of themselves. So I feel like if you're not willing to pour into yourself, then you shouldn't expect somebody else to come along and save you or come along and add to you what you're not willing to do for yourself. Absolutely. I, I love that. I love that. Here, Pastor McKnight is back. So um, I, I love, love, love um, you all's answer to that um, preparation. Um, and I love um, Val talking about redeeming the time because sometimes, especially if you're 30 plus, 40 plus, sometimes you feel like you're behind, that there's so much that you wish you would have already accomplished. But now God has given you a window of time and you have no excuse. I know for the past two months, I have been, I've been probably more productive in the last two months than I have been maybe in the last year. A lot of the visions and the things that I had asked God to help me do, I actually have time to do it. <laughs> and so um, this is a good time for preparation. So our next question is, what do we think about online dating sites? Pastor McKnight. What do I think about online dating sites? Um, personally, I think that in many cases it can be dangerous. Um, I think, I, think um, I know you can connect, but I'm really wondering, can you learn somebody's heart um, online. I think, I think dating, I think you can connect. I think sometimes when you're dealing with business and you, you want to be able to, but when you're actually making a choice, I'm not saying it's wrong. I know there are Christian dating sites, but I just think that the site has to be something more than just everything is online because we know online can make a projection online can, you know, technology can make us even look like we really don't even look. And one of the things I think that's important <laughs> that we need to make known is, is that it's nothing wrong with meeting someone. But the, the question for me is the safety of it. With there, there have been a lot of stories out there to where people met people online and it just was not a good experience. And I think that you have to be able to find, I can understand maybe the introductory state or maybe meeting someone online and communicating that way, especially now. But I just, for me personally, as mm -hmm. a person, uh, I just think that you have to be protective because you don't know the dynamics of that person's life. You don't know what they're connected to. And I think you just, it's hard to learn someone's heart just, just online. That's just me. I think time and reality is is what you really need to do to get someone to date. Now, if you just want, even just going out with someone that you basically don't know in this society now right. is a very dangerous thing. That's right. my take on it. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, Minister Valerie, what's your take on online dating? You have to, again, echoing what Pastor McKnight said, um, you do have to be extremely careful with online dating. And I'm going to be, again, transparent. I've tried online dating. Mm -hmm. And I will just let you know that it didn't work for me. And um, I, I have never made a connection with anybody online. Um, and I'm so glad. Um, what's the song? God blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it didn't work for me. And, and I tried um, eHarmony. Um, and I felt safest with eHarmony because they have such a long, stringent, questionnaire that you have to go through. And most people, I felt like if, if you took the time to go through it, it was like maybe 150, 200 questions just to even get wow. to 
Yeah, it's it's a stringent um yeah, no stringent joke. questionnaire in order to get into eHarmony. The thing I did not like about it was the options that were presented to me. The couple of times where I did actually see somebody, I thought, well, maybe let me try. You know, um, we got to the exchange phone numbers part, and they never called, and that's why I say God blocked it. So I never actually when I that's what I mean when I say I never made a connection. As I've gotten older. I realized that God truly did block it because people can be whomever they want to be online. Yes, I yeah. can be whoever I want to be behind this camera. And that's why you have to be so very careful. I hear horror stories yeah. now about people that have met people online. Some of them maybe got killed. Some of them had everything they own swindled from up under them. Some of them were told, will you marry me? And they think they're engaged to somebody and they give them all their information. And the next thing you know, they have nothing. And so I'm like, I am so grateful that it didn't work. Now, I do have some friends that have met their husbands and wives online and it worked for them. I'm happy for you. But for me, it's not the answer. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Good perspective. And, and I'll I'll echo um, Minister Valerie. I've tried online dating too. It was not the answer. And um, but I can see I tried. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't closing any doors. <laughs> but for me, um, similar to what she said, and I guess I wasn't really nervous about the whole um the i guess i didn't see the danger maybe it's, it's youth you know I, youth i didn't see the danger because i knew i had a barrier as far as um we were online and most people that know me know that i'm difficult to get to know anyway <laughs> <laughs> i i have walls and and yeah and so he was never gonna find out where i lived anyway until I was comfortable. So for me, it wasn't ever um, a safety issue. And now this, that's been 15 years ago when I did it. Um, so the, the day we're living in today is totally different than then. There, there was more security. There wasn't as much craziness going on when I tried online dating, but um, it didn't work for me. And I, I know I prefer um face-to-face -face kinds of things and so that wouldn't be something i would i don't think i would try going forward we have a couple of people say they they're scared of online they're not gonna do that online thing because you do well, have good. to be careful you do have to be careful because people can be whoever they want to be they can lie to you and i don't know if y'all watch tv but i watch dr phil every now and then and I see the seniors that are just losing everything. Everything. Right. They're everything. getting catfished right. by these people. They are giving right. them tens of thousands of dollars and mm -hmm. their children are having to try to come in and save them because they really believe that there's somebody there that loves them and that person mm -hmm. is only after them for financial gain. So you do have to be really, really careful in this season. Yeah. Yes, Troy, you're right. It's more dangerous in, in this day and time. People right. are trying to catfish you like that 15 years ago, but mm -hmm. it's all, ho I mean, no holds barred now. They, they're doing right. anything and everything. Okay, so I guess it's from us and our personal experience and what we think. We don't think that online dating is something that we would do. Now, you go to Jesus and you ask him <laughs> for you, but um, that wouldn't be my recommendation. That's not something I think I would want to do. And I know you all enjoyed that. Wasn't that powerful? And just think, we are just getting started. This was only segment one in a series of four segments that we're going to be doing about dating during COVID. So if you haven't done so already, remember to hit that like button. Also, click that bell so that you will get notified when we drop the next segment in this series and subscribe. We are going to have a blast here. Invite all your good girlfriends to come and join us.